we get there. That song always gets to you, doesn't it? it? Always. Every does. time I hear it, I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I hear it, I have to just stop and think and realize we're going somewhere. That should be the second anthem. The second anthem. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's talk um, reproduction in vitro fertilization or fertilization. It's a process by which an egg is fertilized by sperm outside the body in vitro. Uh, in vitro, the process involves monitoring and stimulating a woman's ovulatory process removing an ovum or ova from the woman's... Um, Otherwise known as egg. <laughs> English. <laughs> and letting sperm fertilize them in a liquid in a laboratory. The fertilized egg is cultured... In a glass. In a glass. In a test tube. <laughs> a fertilized for, or cultured for two to six days. Don't worry, you're hearing some people laughing. They will explain some more. The growth medium and is then implanted in the same or another woman's uterus with the intention of establishing a successful pregnancy. Whew, I just feel like I just went through medical school. Rocket science. No. <laughs> it's not? It's not rocket science. Okay. All right. It's biological science. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> okay, we have um, to help us understand more of this. Dr. Taya Abia. Good morning. Good morning. She's a consultant gynecologist at the Bridge Clinic. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Professor Nicola Zek is a TBC's partner from IVF, Professor Professional Professor Zek Professor Center, Zek Center in Hello. Austria. Yeah, Caro. That means good morning in here. Yeah, Caro. Yeah, Caro. He's trying to speak your I know, I know. Teaching him. Oh, Caro. Yeah. Caro. Good morning. Right. Good morning. Yes. Good. Thank you to have me on the show. Good morning. We <laughs> get. Thank you, sir. Good. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Dio Mogbein is the commercial director of the Bridge Clinic. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much for having us. All right. Um, I'm torn between asking what is IVF, but I think I just read that out. So let me start with you. Tell us about fertility in IVF. Fertility in, in Nigeria or fertility and IVF. And IVF. Okay, all right. I was going to ask the professor to actually score you on your definition that we're going to give you like 98%. That hold was on, good. hold on, let me hear That's that. That's good one. enough. <laughs> professor Zek, score me on my definition. On IVF? Yes. yes. Well, you did a good job. So? Very good job. So I would give uh, 8 out of 10. Yeah. For, uh, you know, somebody who Hello? didn't study biology or medicine. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. High five. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> it deserved a high five. 80%. That's great. That's so great. One. the question, yes. Um, a couple are said to be infertile if they've been trying to conceive for a minimum of one year despite regular unprotected sexual intercourse. A couples who are living together who are actually trying to get pregnant. And then we find out that at least one out of every four between one out of every four to one out of every nine couples find it difficult. 25%? Yes, about 10 to 25% oh, to if conceive. May, just one second. To our younger viewers, please, this might sound very adult. So please be careful. I thought that was necessary. Yes, no problem. We won't, um, we'll be civil. Okay, good. So um, sometimes these couples definitely need some form of intervention, medical intervention. But you now have some couples that actually need more than just the ordinary prescription and actually need some more technical interventions. And that's where IVF comes in, right? IVF means in vitro fertilization, like you have properly defined it, where you need to bring out the eggs from the woman and get the sperm from the man, incubate them in the laboratory and then develop embryos, which are now cultured for about five days before we put it back implanted back in the womb of the woman. Okay. Now, you find out that not everybody needs IVF. Okay, but you have some particular indications for IVF. Usually, male factor infertility. When the sperm count is very low, or the sperms are not moving, or the man has a lot of abnormal sperms. And we're finding more and more of that in our population and in this generation. Of yes. abnormal sperm. Yes, abnormal sperm. Low what is the sperm meaning count? of abnormal sperm? Well, you know, when the man ejaculates, he releases a fluid, and that fluid contains sperm cells, mm -hmm. which you see under the microscope. Now, there's a particular shape of the head, the middle piece, and the tail. 
So when you view these cells under the microscope, you find that some of them have abnormal shaped heads, you know, abnormal structure, and that leads to poor fertilization. It makes natural conception difficult. Hmm. So but you diagnose that after a semen analysis, and a lot of such men need, actually not all, but most of them need IVF. Then you also have women who have blocked fallopian tubes, which is common in sub-Saharan Africa because of improperly treated infections, multiple sexual partners. So you have a lot of women whose fallopian tubes are blocked or who have had previous ectopic pregnancies and their two fallopian tubes have been tied off. Okay. And also, you also have people who are already advanced in age and so find it difficult to conceive because mm -hmm. their eggs are already too old or poor reserve and they might need some form of technology, <laughs> yes, like a younger person's eggs. All that will come under, all those technologies are grouped under hmm. assisted reproductive techniques. Okay. Now, Dr. Mumai, um she said a few things, and um, I'm taking out the part about more and more you are all finding that younger men are having issues with um, sperm count and... Getting their wives pregnant getting the wives pregnant. Yes, I, perhaps I should let Professor Zek take that as opposed to me. Well, I'm talking about Nigeria. Yes. He ha actually has been with us for quite a while, so oh, he has okay. a lot of uh, input in terms of the studies and observations he's carried out okay. while at the bridge. Okay. So, Professor, us. please tell us, what is causing this? Well, my, my f first impression, when, when we start the partnership, I said this cannot be true, that we uh, see such a bad sperm we don't see in the European countries. And now, if I'm now we're looking it cl uh, more into details, and you see a lot of you know pollutions you have here, infections also, um, which might be uh, the cause of these problems. We have in Europe, we have some hotspots, I call it, different regions where we find these uh, bad sperms more often than in other regions. Mm. So that's where our ongoing um, investigations will lead us to, to identify the true causes. But again, it's um, probably a lot to So you're do. still working on it? Of yes. course, we have mm -hmm. to really identify the true cause. But if you look at the uh, uh, pollutions around here in Nigeria, um, and in these pollutions you find um, mimics of estrogen. Estrogen is something which is produced by the body, usually by the female and not mm -hmm. by the man. Mm -hmm. By the man it's produced if they're obese. And you see also a rise in obesity. So the testosterone which the man is producing is converted into this estrogen and then it attacks the sperm. And now you find these mimics, they're somehow similar to the estrogens in the body mm. and they attack the sperm. And then not only these mimics but all these other toxic compounds inside of the water, inside of the food, you know, you, you, you have all the pesticides around and here in Nigeria, I don't know exactly what you're eating and uh, that you're <laughs> quite sure what region you get your food from. And uh, also here, we have to look more closely what could be the true nature of this. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is worrisome. We've talked about mimics, but uh, mimics of estrogens. We've talked about toxic compounds. You also said something earlier about infections. What kind of infections? Well, it's uh, the cause of both. Uh, the, the man might infect the woman or the woman might infect the man, it could be a ping-pong effect. And the infection or the chronic infection, or even if it's cured but it's uh, um, damaged, mm. it's causing a, a, a not a good environment for the mm. uh, sperms. They're always rebuilt, they're always coming new sperms, and it's not a good environment for them to grow and be a good sperm which then can fertilize the egg. Let me just stay with you. What about diet? Does a diet affect...? Yes. Well, we see uh, men um, ra rather who are obese, for example, that uh, if you lose a little bit of weight, it can be 5%, and you see that the sperm can increase in number and quality. The same, of course, with a woman. If a woman is obese, we see um, that uh, the miscarriage rate, for example, losing a baby in early pregnancy is higher than if you're not obese. And it's related, for example, to the sugar you have in the body. And if you're obese, you have higher uh, glucose levels in the body. And this can attack the developing embryo and lead to a uh, lower survival inside of the womb, as well as on the quality of the eggs produced. So I always say if you 
uh, uh, water the flowers and you put some nutrition inside so they can grow. If you do too much of it, it can have a damage. The same in the body. Dr. Mogwain, even though you dodged my last question, <laughs> I'm, ba I'm back to you. Yeah. Um, in our culture, most of the time when a couple does not um, get pregnant, um, mainly it's the woman who is looked at as the culprit and she's the one who is stigmatized this woman who cannot have a baby. Um, from the aspect of culture, what would you advise a couple to do who are unable to conceive? Well, um, just like my, my colleague said, Dr. Biara, at the Bridge Clinic, what we try to do is take care of the couple as opposed to just the woman. Yes, you're quite right. In the Nigerian context, most people point fingers at the woman not being able to conceive after a period of time in marriage. But in actual Whereas fact, from what, what we have heard, we have now, heard and 